Hello everyone, this is DU7JAY. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to unbox the MAT Tuner model MAT30 for Yaesu radios and do a short uh, product review. Um, the tuner comes in this box and let's see what is inside. Inside we have a uh, manual that is printed on uh, what looks like an A4 uh, bond paper. We also have the uh, interface uh, cable for Yaesu, which is I, eight, I think this is an 8-pin mini DIN uh, for Yaesu radios. Let's put it aside. And the main antenna tuner itself. Okay, let's put the box aside and then we will open the uh, tuner. Let us uh, put the foam underneath to protect it and then let's open. Okay, so uh, this is the unit itself. Mm. In the front, there are two LED uh, light indicator. One is for the power and one is uh, marks uh, online. The online LED indicates when the tuner is active or in the uh, bypass mode. And underneath, there are four uh, rubber foot bumpers to keep it from moving around when placed on the table like this. Yeah. And at the rear, we have this one, two, three, four, uh, four uh, connectors. There is this uh, antenna, which I believe goes to the uh, uh, antenna. This one RF in, uh, which, is, uh, uh, which connects to the radio. This is the grounding for your uh, antenna tuner and this is where the um, interface uh, cable goes in. There. The tuner itself is quite small, very compact, and I think if I use this for my Yaisu FT857, I think this would be a perfect pair and would fit perfectly, probably on top of the radio. There. So here in the manual are some, uh, probably, uh, let me see, some key points that I can see here in the manual, which I can share with you. Mm. The MAT-30, it says in the manual, is intended for use with modern Yaesu transceivers only. So um, inside the manual also is a partial list of compatible models, including uh, Yaesu FT-100, uh, FT-857, 857 Delta, 857 Delta, 897 Delta, 450, 891, 950, 991, 991 Alpha, um, FTDX uh, 3000, and probably the 1200 also. The MAT30 connects to the transceiver via the interface cable, this one, um, which controls the tuning cycle, and the radio uh, has a tune button to control the tuner, so everything is automatic. Now, this interface cable uh, also powers the, uh, the antenna tuner, so it requires no external power supply. Tuning is performed when the tune button is pushed uh, in the front of the transceiver and held for one second. The MAT-30, uh, this uh, tuner, can work within the range of uh, 1.6 MHz to 54 MHz at power levels of up to 120 watts. 
It will tune most HF coax fed antenna. It will match a wide range of antennas and impedance mismatch from 5 to 1500 ohms. So far greater than uh, some other tuners including the built-in tuners on many radios. The MAT30 can hold as many as 16,000 frequency memories. So it says in the manual, when tuning on a previously tuned frequency, the MAT30 uses the memory tune to recall the previous uh, tuning parameters in a fraction of a second. And if uh, no uh, memory, uh, memorized settings are available, the tuner runs at full tuning cycle and automatically storing the parameters for memory recall on subsequent tuning cycle on that frequency. So in this manner, the MAT30 learns as it is used, adapting to the bands and frequencies as it goes. So uh, very simple to use and very easy. The construction is, um, I would say, uh, very nice, made out of uh, steel or uh, aluminum. Very well machined, very well made, very clean. I could not see any uh, clear uh, tool markings. Um, the, the printed logos and the, uh, the markings in front are also very well marked. Mm. So there you go. So that is my unboxing and short description of the MAT30 automatic antenna tuner. Uh, stay tuned to my next uh, video as I run this tuner on my uh, different field antennas. And if you find this video helpful, please click like and hit the subscribe button and bell icon to get notified for new videos. Thank you very much. This is DU7JAY saying 73 and enjoy ham radio. Merry Christmas and a happy new year to all. Spend all this Christmas with you.